and welcome to another episode of Unity C Sharp tutorial. So in the last video we have learned about Vector2 and Vector3. So in this video we're going to learn about the transform component that is attached to each and every game object. So let's get started. So as you can see if I select the squad or this thing or this main camera here, as you can see all of these objects has a transform component attached in the inspector. So this is uh, this is attached to this component. This is, I'm sorry, this is attached to this game objects by default from the beginning. So, what these transform components hold? So, this transform component holds a position, a rotation, and a scale for this device. Okay, so this position means where in the x, y, z axis the, device, the game object is. The rotation means how much it has been rotated in the x or y axis. Okay. And the scale means how long, in, how long or short is in, it is in the x or y or z axis. Okay, so without this transform component, all these things become actually inactive. So that is why a transform component is attached to each and every game object. So how can we access this transform component of any game object? So in order to access the transform component of any game object, suppose we have a script attached to this squad here. Suppose we have attached uh, this test to this squad here. Suppose we have attached it. Let's disable this. Suppose we have attached this test script to this squad here. Now what happens is I can access this transform component by writing transform in small here. Okay. So as you can see, we have this position, rotation, and scale here. So we can access all those values by writing transform dot position or transform dot rotation, rotation, oops, transform dot rotation or transform dot scale or local scale. We cannot use scale directly, but we can use local scale. Okay. So we can access all these values this way. But where do we store these things? As I've said to you before that all these values have, all these things have x, y, and z values. So we need to create a vector 3 type of variable in order to store these things. So I can store this thing inside vector 3 pause. I can store this thing inside vector 3 root. And I can store this thing inside vector three scale. Okay, so this is how we access this transform components attached to this game object. So this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And in the next video, we'll learn about in the next videos we'll learn about this position, this rotation, and this scale uh, separately. And we'll learn how to rotate this device, move this device, and scale this device. So let's see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.